The Missouri Department of Correction is tonight changing the way it deals with people involved in the criminal justice system. Good evening once again to you. I'm David Oliver and I'm Heather Lewis. Thanks for joining us. The department recently rolled out a statewide initiative aimed at helping keep offenders out of prison. Color 10's Nigel McDonald stopped by our local probation and parole office and is here now to explain those changes. Nigel. David and Heather, I'm told the new initiative will work to improve how the justice system assesses offenders. Now, Tiffany Lamozzi of the Missouri Department of Corrections says offender success equals an overall safer community. Lamozzi says there isn't a cookie cutter approach to client success, which is why the department has adopted new tools and strategies aimed at rehabilitating offenders. This includes better case management through a new tool known as the Missouri Offender Matrix or MOM. MOM determines a client's response to both positive and negative behavior by using incentives and sanctions. Lamosi says this system operates on a case by case basis, but in general, it could look like anything from a client receiving verbal affirmation to a food voucher. What we were seeing is that we were still having the same number of, of folks still come to us, still go in the institution. We have a high offender population in the institution, so something we were doing needed to be reevaluated. From the minute they step foot in a probation or parole office, or the second they step foot in an institution until they are done with supervision, we tailor our approach with that individual the entire time they're with us. So in terms of those uh, vouchers you mentioned there, Niger, are we talking about movie tickets, gas cards, who pays for that? Good question. In Greene County, there's a Citizens Advisory Board, and it determines what the vouchers can be. Now, Lamosi says research shows incentives work to get the kind of success that they're looking for. So taxpayers buy these? No, it's not a sponsored or supported with tax dollars. Lamosi says the vouchers are actually donated by churches and other nonprofits. All right, Nigel McDonald for us tonight. Thank you.